Oh my goodness! <laughs> I did not know that! Unlike most of my guests, actor Lupita Nyong'o came to me with questions about her parents rather than her distant ancestry. Her father, Peter Nyong'o, was a professor of political science devoted to nurturing democracy in his native Kenya during the reign of Daniel Moy, a repressive autocrat. In 1980, Peter's younger brother, Charles, disappeared. News reports claim that Charles died falling from a ferry boat. But the story never rang true to Lupita's relatives. Your family believes that Uncle Charles was pushed off the ferry to intimidate your father. Mm -hmm. And witnesses were too terrified to testify. Well, for a long time, we weren't really even really allowed to say his name. His name was always said in hushed tones and stuff. It had to be horrible for your father. It was definitely uh, a major loss to my family. The Nyongos were so shaken by the death that they fled to Mexico City, where Lupita was born in 1983. Mexico was safe, and Peter again found work as a university professor. But Mexico wasn't home, and by the time Lupita was four, her family was back in Kenya, despite the risks. Why do you think your parents returned? My father is so passionate about the country, and he so deeply believes that there is a better future mm -hmm. possible. And so I know that he feels that his, he's most useful when he can be there. Back in his homeland, Peter resumed his activism, organizing a new political party to oppose Moy. The party could only operate underground because it was completely illegal. But we found the transcript of an interview Peter gave about this experience, an interview Lupita had never seen. We started organizing from July 1987. The whole thing was happening here in my house. Oh. How about that? Oh, that was what was going on. <laughs> that is great, and it explains all those people. I mean, I was, what, four mm -hmm. at the time. Oh, so you had all these strangers? Yeah, lots of people always <laughs> there, tea, 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 being served. Uh -huh. I, and I they did. were plotting the revolution. <laughs> yeah. When Moy's government learned about Peter's party, they took swift action. Peter was seized and taken to what was known as the Nio House, a torture chamber in the basement of a Nairobi skyscraper. All the while, his family had no idea where he was. I didn't understand what was going on, and he was gone for a while. 26 days he was tortured in Nyayo House. Your mother must have thought your father was never gonna come back. She must have. So it's... She kept that to herself. I'm sure, yeah. She really did, and for that I'm, I'm, I feel for her, but I'm also very grateful that she, she did that. And I remember the day he came back. You do? I just jumped into my father's arms. Although Moy would stay in power for another 13 years, Peter never gave up. In 2013, Peter was elected to Kenya's Senate. Four years later, he was elected governor of Kisumu, where he continues to serve today, still working for reform and democracy. Oh. <laughs> It's beautiful. Your father's story is a miracle. He's my hero. <laughs> <laughs> Uncovering lost stories can be an act of restoration, not only of our ancestors' resilience, but of the resilience of the entire human community. To see more incredible stories, click here. <laughs>